Alright, so the history of relations is part the first lesson for transformations. So what a translation is, is we are um, it's a type of transformation that slides a figure along a line without turning. So basically all we're doing is we're taking whatever figure is given to us on a coordinate plane and just sliding it around our coordinate plane. It is not turning, it is not flipping, it is staying exactly how it looks given to us just kind of moving around our coordinate plane, okay? So here are the type of translations that we have. These are the rules that we have. So the first one that we have is uh, move right. So whenever you move right, whatever number of units they give you, you actually add to your X coordinate here. So you'll take whatever the X coordinate is and then add it to whatever they're asking you to move right. Move left, you are actually going to go ahead and subtract to the x value. What I like to think about is uh, left and right are our x-axis, so that's kind of like what I like to think about. Moving up, that is our y, so we're going to add to our y, and then moving down, we're going to subtract to our y. Um, a little tool that I do use on the side is I draw a, a coordinate line. Um, this is my x, so that means if I go to the left, I subtract, or if I move to the right, I add. Then for my y axis, if I move up, I add, or if I move down, I subtract. So I kind of like to look at this um, diagram to kind of help me, hey, am I adding or subtracting? Now moving on to our first example, we have our first figure here. You can use your coordinates, but if they give you a figure, I would recommend to just use your figure here. So it says move two units to the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move two units to the right and three units up for every single, or sorry, two units to the right, three units up for every single point that I have on the graph. So I'm starting with this one right here. Two units to the right, I have one, two, and then three units up, one, two, three. That means that my new point is going to be located right here. Then I do the same exact thing with the other one. So I move two units to the right, one, two, and three units up, one, two, three. That is my new point for that specific point. And the very last one, the third, which is at the bottom right here, move two units to the right, one, two, and three units up, one, two, three. That's my new point for the third point, okay? I connect my points, and as you can see, it gives me the exact same figure. It's just kind of sliding around the coordinate point. Okay. All right, moving on to the next one. So um, let's go ahead and just do one more example. So for this one, I have this point. It's four points, but still the exact same process. So here it says four units to the right and one unit down. So I'm going to go from here one, two, three, four and one unit down. So that's my new point for that specific point. Then I look at this one right here, same exact process, one, two, three, four, and one unit down. Looking at my other one, one, two, three, four, one unit down. And lastly, one, two, three, Four, I'm going to go off the grid a little bit and one unit down. As you can tell, my shape did not change in size, it did not churn, it stayed exactly how it looks on the other one. It just looks like we moved it to some other place in the coordinate plane. Okay, now there are going to be some times where they just give you the coordinate planes, which are these right here, and that's when I recommend to just use your, um, your rules. Now you do have a graph, sometimes they won't give you a graph, but let's go ahead and plot the original point. So I have x is negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and negative 4. So this is my original x. My y is negative 3 and negative 1. And then my z is 2 and negative 2. I connect my points and you have your triangle, okay? Now, if you look at these examples right here, they all have apostrophes right here. That is the what is called the transformation. So after I do the transformation, that is what we call here. So when we have those parentheses, that just means that that's one transformation. If we have two um, uh, apostrophes, that means we have 
uh, two transformations that have happened. So that's a double transformation because it's just one. That means that we're just doing one and that is according to what they give us here. Now here it says three units to the right, four units up. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take each point. So let's start at X since that is our first slot right here. Three units to the right, one, two, three, and four units up. One, two, three, four. Plot your point. And then this, I'm going to go ahead and use a different color for this one, but this is where I would put X and then that apostrophe to show that, hey, this is what happens after the transformation. So that's X prime. I do it again. So Y prime, one, two, three, and then four units up, one, two, three, four. There is Y prime. And then C prime, same exact thing. So from this point, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And that is Z prime. So it looks exactly the same. Just slid around. Now it does want the ordered pairs, so let's go ahead and get the ordered pairs. For X prime, we have negative one and zero. For y prime, we have 0 and 3. And for z prime, we have 5 and 2. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the ones that don't give us graphs. So for this one, it has a quadrilateral D, E, F, G, have vertices 1, D, 1, 0, E, negative 2, negative 2, F, 2, 4, and G, 6, and negative 3. Find the vertices of D prime, E prime, F prime, G prime after it is translated 4 units right and 5 units down. So <clears throat> what I like to do here to kind of help us organize or organize our um, information is I like to go ahead and take all of the information that is given to us, our original ordered pairs, and put them right next to our um, other pairs. Now, this isn't our final answer, but it kind of just helps us with the organization instead of me moving back and forth between our ordered pairs. So E was negative 2, negative 2, and G is 6 and negative 3. Now, remember... If we move left or right, that's our X. If we move up and down, that's our Y. So looking at our transformation for the translation, we have four units to the right. Since we are moving to the right, that four is for all of our X's and it's to the right. So that means we add. So that means we're going to add four to all of our X's that we have here. And then the next translation is five units down. Now, moving up and down is our Y. So we're going to look at our Y values here. And since we are moving down, we are going to go ahead and subtract five. So I subtract five to everything. Okay. So then my new ordered pairs are now going to be what I do to these ordered pairs. So the adding the four, subtracting the five, that's going to be our new order pairs here, okay? So I'm going to start off with D prime. Um, originally, it was 1 and 0. That was our point D. Now, when I do the translation, I add 4 to the 1, which gives us 5. And then negative 5, um, or sorry, minus 5 to the 0 is negative 5. So that's my new ordered pair, okay? Moving on to E prime. Originally, I had negative 2 and negative 2. When I add 4 to the negative 2, I now have 2 for x, and then I have negative 2 minus 5, which gives us negative 7 for y. For f, originally I had 2 and 4. So for f prime, I add 4 to the 2 for our x value, so that gives us 6. And then I have negative 5 and 4, and that gives us negative 1. And lastly for g, originally I had 6 and negative 3. So for g prime, I add the 4 to the 6 for the x, so that gives us 10. And for the y, I had it negative 3, but I subtract 5, so negative 3 minus 5 gives us negative 8. And those are your new order pairs. Okay, and lastly we have this one. When we're explaining our um, transformation, this is going to be on the assignment. Um, I go from point A to point B. Basically, all we're trying to see, or we're just explaining what happened from point A to point B. So if I look, point A is right here. I go up one, two, three, four, five. So that's five for our Y. And then I move one, two. That's two for our X. 
Okay, now we did go up, so that means that we add for the y, and then we did go to the right, so that means we add for the x as well. There's two different ways you can kind of go about this. You can go ahead and explain it in a full sentence, or you can go ahead and write it as an ordered pair. What I mean about ordered pair is we're going to write x and y for our ordered pair, and then we just add or subtract whatever we moved. So I know left and right is for our x, and since we did move to the right, we are going to add two because we went to the right two then for our y we did go up so that means that we're going to add how much we went up which is five okay once again if you don't feel like writing it in an ordered pair you can just explain it so you can say move two units right and five units Okay. All right. So that is um, translation.